voice of speech is about whether or not we should have advertising that is geared towards children and influencing them. Uh, we all know that as time has gone on, we have all become more dependent on social medias and just technology in general. And so something that a lot of people don't think about quite as much is the impact this can have on younger children as they grow up and are exposed to just a barrage of advertising in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, I'm an authority on this just due to the research I've done. And so the first thing uh, to talk about is just why it's an issue. And the two main things is just the morals of it and also uh, just like the issue with the ignorance of how people go about it. Now, one of the main things is the ease of manipulating a child to be influenced by something. Uh, this is shown very easily through research done about childhood obesity and things of that nature. And a lot of it has been linked to uh, an overexposure to fast food advertising when they're young, which just normalizes it. And in addition, uh, a lot of the times why advertising is geared towards the children is because parents will buy their children things that they would never get otherwise just due to uh, not having an actual interest. Now, another thing that happens from it is the long-term spending habits. And this kind of goes along with like the obesity thing where once a child has started getting kind of hooked into a lot of these marketing practices and like fast food is completely normalized to them, uh, they can keep making the same like unhealthy decisions over and over and over and not understanding if there's a problem about it. And that's, uh, I found that information in an article from the Nebraska Wesleyan Library that was published in 2014. And then additionally, there are also the general moral ramifications of advertising to children due to it being seen almost as just going after easy prey uh, in the marketing industry. And one of the next things to talk about is the degree of invasiveness in day-to-day uh, -day life with children. And so 